So, Dr. Trey 81, I think if that's his number, he fucking attached his name, I don't know. He made a response to me, and uh, it was interesting. So, let me just get into this. First off, you said that uh, it was superior because of what the developers might do with the Wii U tablet. Well, you got to remember that uh, Nintendo says they're going to completely revamp the, what the Wii U is from what we saw at E3. But based off the current versions, I cannot agree with you. Simply because you don't know how high of like you don't know how the tablet's going to work. You don't know if it's going to be, you know, technically good enough to even, you know, perform the detective mode in Batman Arkham City. We don't have no idea how the tablet's going to work. We've seen concept art, but we haven't actually seen it in action. For example, one of the major problems I see with the tablet already is the controls. Just like this system here, it has the circle pad. And the circle pad would be horrible for consoles. But you never know because Nintendo is going to relaunch or reannounce the Wii U, so it might be completely different than what they've shown us. But based off what current products that we've seen, the Wii U is going to have circle pads. And the circle pads do not compare to either of the two consoles analog sticks even closely. It's horrible. The circle pad is absolute trash. I mean, even driving in Mario Kart 7, I'd say it'd be easier with the D-pad than the shitty circle pad. I, I mean, I loved Mario Kart DS, but I liked it a lot better with that big giant D-pad on the original DS than the circle pad on my 3DS. It, it's a lot harder to control and especially in games like platformers. And, you know, who knows, maybe they could be right, but based off what current things I've seen with the 3DS and DS, I can't say that a second screen has really improved the quality of video games that much. I mean, for certain genres, it's done wonders, and I could see it doing wonders for games like Madden, where I don't have to, if I'm playing split screen or, you know, two player, I can actually use a tablet to see uh, what plays I could choose, and my friend next to me who's playing against me won't be able to counter it with a better play. But that's like the only game I can see that even being a real benefit in. For example, it could ruin games, just like the 3DS has ruined fighting games. I mean, fighting games on the platform are absolute trash. For example, in Street Fighter, you can actually map combos to the second screen which has made infinites and combo spamming just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, if I can just combo spam in fighting games on the Wii U, it'll be irrelevant as a fighting game platform. And then Sony, unless Microsoft makes their D-pad better on the next system, Sony will once again dominate in the fighting game scene. So, the problem is, is that it could actually make games worse if developers don't implement it right. If you don't remember, this is the same thing that happened with the PS3 when it first came out. Every game used 6-axis and it was horrible. Horrible! Grand Theft Auto 4, for example, was kind of unplayable because of these 6-axis controls forced onto it. And all these early PS3 games that you can pick up now have 6-axis forced onto it. And the 6-axis control was bad. It was poorly implemented. There are games that do implement it correctly, like Flower, but when it comes to multi-platform games, your system is considered a secondary system. They don't really care. They don't put it above any other system. There's no lead system that they purposely try to make better unless they're being paid to by one of the three companies. So what the Wii U will probably be is have a few gimmicky features added onto the tablet for certain multi-plat games. But it won't be as advanced and intricate as you assume. We thought this with the Wii, that the Wii versions of the games would be so much better and so much different. But it turns out that they were all half-assed ports with gimmicks thrown onto them. And that's how third-party people treated the Wii. And that's most likely how they would treat the Wii U. I see it as being similar to the PS3, but instead of gimmicky motion shaking, it has something to do with the second screen on all these third-party games. Don't get me wrong, it could be excellent, 
but it could just ruin your version of the game. So don't jump to guns. You have launch goggles on. What launch goggles means is that you think a system is great just because it's just it's new or it's coming out. That's what launch goggles mean. I mean, look at the Xbox 360. Everyone thought Perfect Dark Zero and Cameo were great games. Years back, we can years from years now that it's been years since then, we can look back and see obviously that wasn't the case. And some people actually thought the PS3 had a good launch, but if we look back now, it's considered one of the worst launches of all time. Launch goggles means that you are so pumped and hyped about a system that you can't see the negative aspects of it. So wait for it to come out, wait a couple months after, and then you'll have a more accurate description of what the system's really about. And to address your last point there, it's kind of sad that Angry Bird Space is harder and longer than the newest Mario game. Samuel out.